Hello, let's talk about how to create a quintile, or calculate the quintile. Quintile means five, so as it says right here in the second uh, um, thing we need to do, we need to create five equal groups. But first, we need to sort the data from highest to lowest. Well, I sorted it from highest to lowest. Um, we have the 220,000 on top, 18,000 on the bottom. And our question here that we're going to use to illustrate quintiles is, to you find the following data for household incomes in a small town, and you've got received the or you've calculated the following ten incomes from, and I've already put it so it's the highest to the lowest, and we need to calculate what percentage of income goes to each quintile. So if we have ten groups, we're going to, I'm sorry, ten people, ten incomes. Um, we're going to create quintiles. Quintile means five, so we're going to create five groups. Ten divided by five is equal to two. So the first quintile is going to be the two people on top. The next um, one would be these two, and then these two, these two, and these two. Okay, so the highest income quintile will be right here. And I'm going to call it the first quintile. And so in this case, we have 220,000 plus 85,000. Well, that's what? Let's put income. That's not, okay. 307,000. 307,000 dollars. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll leave off the one just to make it a little bit clearer. But that 307,000 dollars goes. Uh, to our first quintile. Then our second quintile, 70 plus 60,000 uh, is what, 130,000? And then 40 plus 30 is, uh, I would think, 70,000? What do you think? And then we have 25,000 plus 24,000. Let's see. What do you think? 49,000 sound good? Yeah. 23,000 plus 18,000. Uh, let me think. 41,000? Okay, so we sorted from highest to lowest. We divided our numbers into five equal groups, where each group had two people, as we saw over here. Check. That's not a very nice check mark. Add all the numbers in each of the five groups. Check. There's our numbers in each of the five groups. I tried to do a dollar sign there, but not the, yeah, I want a prettier dollar sign. Ah, so much prettier. And I want the number to go through. Okay, but we're going to leave the dollar signs off the other ones just because... I'm not doing very well with my dollar signs right now. So sum all the numbers in all groups. Well, I can either add up these numbers or I can just add them all up. Um, either way, should be the, better be the same number because we're just doing the same thing. So if I add them all up, I calculate. Um, so if I take two, either way, I, th I think you're going to get $597,000 if you add them all up. So five hundred and ninety thousand and we won't worry about that. there's a line there. So five that's supposed to be a nine, five hundred and ninety thousand dollars. So what percentage? So right here we're gonna take the three hundred and seven thousand. Divided by our total of uh, 590, ah, uh, 590,000 dollars. And I get 51.4%, or I'm going to just put in decimal terms, 514, 51.4%. The next uh, quintile, uh, I calculate it's uh, 
about 20.217776. So about almost 22%, 21.8%. And then our next one, 70,000 divided by 590,000. Well, 70,000 divided by 590,000, I think, I calculate, is 117. So 11, almost 12%, 11.7%. And then 49,000 divided by 590,000. I calculate it to be 0 0.0. Eight, two, 8.2 percent and the bottom one point zero six eight seven is what I calculate double check my work but yeah I just took four forty one thousand divided by five hundred ninety thousand in fact let's just put that right there I'm not gonna put them all there because I think it gets kind of messy so 41,000 divided by 590,000. That looks like $490,000, doesn't it? Hopefully. So one of the neat things that uh, queen tiles show us is a nice way of showing how much money goes to each of the queen tiles. It's often used reporting income inequality, a lot of different forms of inequality or dispersions. It could be uh, sports scores. It could be a lot of different things. It could be water levels and on a river. So pretty neat thing to do. So there's queen tiles. Hope you enjoyed it.